Hi guys, so I had a question on how I file my nails because um, they're thin and also thick, like myself. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So, um, the first thing you do is, this is what it looked like, you know, like pre-file, just straight from the acrylic. Uh, I have another video up on how I appreciate my tips, so check that out if you're interested. But what I do first is I come in completely vertically, so like perpendicular to the nail, and I file the sides, because oftentimes it kind of like floats down on the sides a little bit, you know, like gravity pulled it down and it's just like thicker than I want it to be on the sides. So then I'm doing that on the other side as well. This is something I do multiple times throughout this process, but I start at the top. Um, once I've done the top, I then come in and I come and I try to do the same thing at the bottom. And this, I kind of put a little bit of pressure on the end because obviously I want to pull it in towards the end where it's the skinniest and have it thicker at the top. Um, but yeah, see I'm just going up and down, up and down, up and down, um, trying to get it to that like straight but obviously curved in a little bit at the end. Um, so that's, this is me kind of curving it at the end a little bit because obviously you want it to be thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. And then I obviously come in and do that on the other side. Um, so that's what it looked like. After that, um, I come in and I file underneath the bottom because sometimes it gets a little bit like flayed, fillet, hmm, don't know what the word is. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of doing the same thing on both sides again. It takes me quite a few times. I keep checking it to make sure it's what I want. But after that, this is kind of like the key part. I come in at like a an angle, you can kind of see it's like 45 degrees, and I file up and in because I want it, I want to then make it round. Like I obviously don't want it to be like flat on the sides and flat on the top. I want it to be round. So I'm coming in and I'm basically like where it was kind of flat on the sides from how I had vertically done the filing, I'm now then flattening it out and then coming up on the top as well because I obviously want the top to be as smooth as possible. So. I kind of got a little bit off camera here, but that's basically what I'm doing is, is making it a dome shape um, because personally, that's that's how I like my stilettos. And obviously, this is not how you have to do it. I know some people out there are going to say, hey, I do it differently, and that's awesome. And I hope you post a tutorial and show people how because the more you know, right? But um, that's what I'm doing here is really just coming in at that angle, rounding it out, and then um, making sure it's smooth at the top as well. I did a bad job recording this, so I'm, I'm walking you through it verbally, but this is how they turned out. So if this is how you like your stilettos, follow my tutorial and have a great day.